Yes, uh, thank you very much, Bill. Um, if there are any immediate uh, questions, I think, to this lecture, um, you can already ask you know, a brief question concerning it now, uh, but otherwise we will then, um, later when all the different talks are done, to the panel discussion and we can talk about it then. Um, so, if none of you do have any questions, <laughs> I would like to go over to um, our next panelist, who is Matthias Mühling, who is, of course, the director of the Lehmbach House in Munich. And uh, as Gabriele mentioned earlier, he was also part of our internal workshops um, yesterday, and uh, is all because he uh, and his museum are also part of the Global Museum Initiative. Um, and we are very happy <laughs> to welcome him and hear him talk, possibly about the project he is planning within the scope of uh, the Global Museum program, <laughs> or not. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, welcome. Uh, thank you very much uh, to all my colleagues from uh, Düsseldorf and uh, Berlin, and especially for the colleagues in Berlin organizing uh, this conference. And I start my Stoppuhr. As uh, people knowing me know that I'm not very good in, 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 in short speeches. So. I was invited uh, to the panel, which is, the, and the question is what we can learn from artist networks. So I, first of all, I want to stress uh, the perspective I'm speaking from, and that is, I work for Lembach House Munich, and that is a museum, a municipal museum, a very small museum. Everything uh, of our museum fits into this room. And we are the former home of an artist, which is like we are, we are very, communal, very local, the collections are very local. Uh, we do uh, have international messages. We try to address a wider audience than only the communities uh, around us. But, but we try to be very close to artists in general, and that's since we were founded and opened in 1929, which is the year MoMA was founded in New York. and we. We speak of us as the first contemporary art museum in uh, Germany, almost a hundred years. Second, so that's the perspective I'm from a from a uh, from a curatorial uh, museum perspective. We also the home of an artist group. So uh, our project in Museum Global is about uh, artist groups in in general and a special artist group, which is. Uh, which uh, the biggest collection of this artist group is, has its home at Lembach House, and that's the Blue Rider, the Blaue Reiter. This is not the Blue Rider, that's the Phalanx, which is before Blue Rider. But I want to give you some examples of artist groups, and they are very common examples, very common, very local, like Munich, Düsseldorf, Wuppertal, Rom, Aal, Paris. Not everybody. Uh, gr growing up in Germany might have a uh, knowledge uh, about this artist group. That's the Blue Rider uh, in the center of Munich. And you can see they are very different from artist groups in, uh, before World War I, as there were uh, many international artists, what is considered international during that time, and many women artists. Uh, and they were growing, this is August Macke, and he grows the little plant of modern art, which is the very you, you, you don't even see it. It has to be... We have to take care of that. And then I wanted to stress two other things, and that is artists are normal people like us. They do have a big responsibility like, as they try to share experience, but they're not they're normal people. So that's why they're interesting for us as, we, as we're the same. And they're not something very uh, special. But uh, what we can, uh, I try to, to, to uh, we want to learn something, so I try to stress a point which we might learn something from, and that is friendship. Friendship has been theorized all over in Europe, especially Montaigne, Hannah Arendt, uh, Michel Foucault, my title, 
uh, is um, a friendship as a way of life is a uh, is an English translation of a uh, Foucault book, and of course um, I was um, I uh, I got a notice that uh, lately Giorgio Agamben wrote a book about uh, friendship. Friendship is something very tender, and and although these theorists of uh, friendship have very different concepts of, of what it is, they share something, and that is that friendship is a very different relationship from all other relationships we have, like lovers, family, colleagues, acquaintance, like whatever you can imagine of uh, relationships. And friendship uh, is not only a, re a relationship between individuals, it is a political space of living together. And um, I heard that Agamben said this too. Friendship is before identity and uh, uh, is the base of any shareable experience. So friendship makes it possible that you can uh, share experience and that's what actually artists do. That's, that might be the first thing uh, we could learn from these friendships. And uh, as I know that my colleagues are speaking from a more contemporary perspective, I, uh, I try to give you um, uh, the historical examples as the Blue Rider is a historical thing. It's uh, 100 years old. And this is Overbeck and Cornelius, two artists from uh, uh, an artist um, group network traveling uh, to Rome. And uh, they have a very special and tender relationship and they write each other uh, love letters like they would write to their uh, wives. It's a very, they, they have a very intimate idea uh, of friendship. And this intimate eye and tender uh, idea of friendship is completely erased from institutions. So friendship is uh, almost impossible. If I would say to Hortensia Völkers, okay, let's uh, do a conference um, uh, with the money of the Cultural uh, Foundation of Germany, the Federal Cultural Foundation, and we just invite friends, only friends, nobody else. It would be impossible for compliant reasons. It's if I would say to my managing director, oh, let's make a book with my, uh, with, with my dear old friend, the publisher so-and-so, and, -so, and my, 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 uh, my friend so-and-so will do the graphic design, and my old friend Juliane will write the text, and the architecture will be this, and uh, all my artist friends will be in the group show of this catalog. <laughs> yeah, everybody is laughing, but I think there is a deep uh, kränkung in, uh, in our uh, laugh, uh, as, um, uh, for example, it is very difficult to share money for just drinking and having a symposium in a more antique sense of getting drunk and being uh, together and uh, philosophy. So that might be a point. And you, you know, they, they show a friendship and it's, a, it's about really touching each other. I mean, that's a me metaphorical idea of, and of course art uh, has to, to, uh, to put friendship in a more metaphorical uh, level. And of course, it's women. Uh, they they out of the competition of all these male artists in Rome. Uh, but there's another example, like a young painter uh, who was not really successful in the beginning. He wanted to have an artist community in Al, and he got a really nice house and he furnished it completely, and nobody wanted to come. Uh, that was Van Gogh. Only Gauguin came. All the others invited, even his friends, they didn't want to come because they were like, oh my God, it's going to be terrible with Van Gogh in this little house in Aal. We have to paint every day and then we fight and then we... So what can we share in friendship is like deep offenses and hurtful things which are completely erased out of um, institutions too. And I think that's a, I don't know how this will make sense in the end, but I think that everybody uh, who has a experience about relationship knows, can have a feeling that is uh, with uh, Van Gogh and this deep offense that all his friends uh, didn't come. So artists' community are not always successful in their relationship. Uh, even the Rome uh, guys, they wrote uh, love letters, but they were really fighting in the end. 
uh, another thing is like very common uh, example too, the surrealists, we have them here, many of them of uh, men of course, they did this, uh, uh, they invented something which is working together, the écriture automatique and uh, le cadavre exquis, which is, I think everybody knows, it's like you, you start with something, writing or drawing and the next one doesn't know what you were writing and drawing and you continue and it's uh, the idea of that one hand doesn't know what the other hand is doing, like it's completely senseless idea of working together, one makes this and the other one makes this and together it doesn't make any sense. So that's completely erased from uh, the ideas of institutions. They, they, everything we're doing together has to make sense. Like it's, you do this and I'm super informed about what you're doing and uh, we have meetings all the time and sharing all our informations and in the end it may all makes sense. That's a f fantasy, I, I would say. It's, uh, and where's the space for these senseless uh, uh, ideas uh, of relationship where nobody can uh, profit from only tender feelings, maybe. I don't, uh, and then of course, friendships can be institutionalized. That's uh, like, um, and then they turn into lovers or even worse, uh, uh, sometimes, uh, marriage. And then they do something together and, uh, and it's, um, yeah, it's very organized. <laughs> Munich, again, I, I like them very much uh, because they really, and uh, all the topics in my workshop yesterday, the Spur Group, uh, they, were, they, they said, we don't want to be commercial artists. We're part of the Citroen uh, International and we need new spaces uh, uh, to live in. And they made this thing together, which is in our collection, that's the Spurbau, the Spur building, which was made for uh, the uh, Paris Triennial in 1936 and was uh, 63 and was exhibited uh, in Paris. And it's the idea of a communal center, like could go to Medellin. And uh, it's, uh, of course, the idea of uh, when somebody goes to co community center, uh, there need to be streets and where you have parking lots. That's uh, kind of super post-war uh, Europe. Nobody would uh, do streets and parking lots anymore. On the top, there is a sculpture garden. You have toilets. You have cinemas, art collections. You have fun going up, going down, everything uh, you need. And this is actually the role model as it was seen by Renzo Piano. Uh, and uh, Richard Rogers uh, uh, as they were uh, already planning the Centre uh, Pompidou. So the idea of uh, uh, new spaces, they can arise, uh, a new architecture, they can arise from friendships uh, too. You can be only fun and uh, consume oriented, like the Zero Group. They said like, we want to be commercial, we, want to, we don't want to have problems, no political problems, we just do white things which are fun and full of light. I'm um, exaggerating, of course, as, uh, but however, that's the opposite of uh, the Spurgruppe. And of course, you can be extremely de uh, deconstructive, like really doing things which, which, are, which are like these, they are actually, they are old or they look old. That's the Fluxus Festival of newest mu music in 1962. Um, most of them don't have hairs anymore, but they behave like boys and having lots of fun of destroying a very macho thing of destroying um, um, a piano. Uh, but it is like what it, they just want to destroy something as they couldn't do it when they were 18, also I don't uh, actually uh, know. But it's the, they, they enjoy of, uh, they enjoying to be completely um, undisciplined and, um, and uh, senseless and uh, uh, destroying uh, things. And of course, you can put it uh, in the end into manifestos. That's uh, like even the, the, the very uh, deconstructive uh, things. Um, and that will be a major part of our exhibition, like uh, manifestos and, uh, and putting uh, that together. And there are manifestos of uh, friendship uh, too. And of course, it's a way of living and that's of this togetherness and sharing experience. And they don't only happen, as you said, in doing arts. 
art is not the only way of sharing experience and that's uh, what of course has grown into uh, art museums uh, um, uh, too. And this I saw you com Communum One because they um, uh, really d didn't want to do art but some of them were part of other uh, artist group and it was in uh, Munich and it's about eating and of course organizing uh, the living uh, together which didn't work um, uh, most of the time. So I think that we, that institutions have to kind of stress uh, their limitations, their rules, uh, which kind of erased everything which is, um, or it, it is difficult to be very human uh, within an uh, art institution and maybe there is a way to learn it from artists who are just normal people. Thank you very much.